The chemical reactivity of alkyl halides is dictated by the nature of that carbon-halogen bond. The bond is polar, which shifts electrons toward halogen. This puts a partial negative charge on the halogen, and more importantly, a partial positive charge on carbon. I say more importantly because we're interested in the reactions at carbon. There are two types of chemical reactions of alkyl halides. One is substitution. The carbon-halogen bond is broken, and something else attaches to carbon in place of halogen. The other type of reaction is elimination. The halide actually goes away together with a hydrogen on an adjacent carbon. Let me tell you a little bit about each. There are two important types of substitution. In one, and this is the chemistry I want you to think of first and foremost when you think of alkyl halides, the alkyl halide is treated with a nucleophile. Nucleophiles are reagents that have an electron pair that can be used to make a bond with carbon. Substitution results in the carbon-nucleophile bond being formed, and the carbon-halogen bond is broken. In all of these reactions, the electron pair stays with the halogen. So the nucleophile, with this electron pair, has displaced halide, which kept the electron pair of the bond. Because this involves a reaction with the nucleophile, it's called nucleophilic substitution. There's a lot to tell you about this reaction, and I'll tell you in a series of lectures all the details regarding how this happens. The other substitution reaction is a reaction of alkyl halides with metals. This is an entirely different type of reaction, but it results in substitution, and there's a carbon-metal bond formed, and a metal-halogen bond. And these two atoms may be the same atom. Many would say that the most important reaction of these alkyl halides with metals is the Grignard reaction, the reaction with magnesium metal. And in that case, carbon becomes bonded to magnesium, and that same atom is bonded to the halogen. Alternatively, lithium can be used, which is monovalent, and so it takes two atoms of lithium, and we make two molecules. We make the organometallic carbon with the lithium bond, and lithium halide. These organometallic reagents turn out to be especially important when we're talking about carbonyl chemistry. So you'll see them again then. And here's your first look at elimination. This involves a hydrogen on one carbon and a halogen on the adjacent carbon. Treatment of this alkyl halide with the base will say that it has a negative charge and a pair of electrons. All bases have a pair of electrons to share. The base forms a bond with hydrogen and removes it, while halide leaves. This makes an alkene, plus the halide, and again it leaves with a pair of electrons, plus the protonated base. There are several details of the elimination reaction that we need to talk about, and I'll discuss those in separate lectures. For now, simply be aware that alkyl halides undergo substitution and elimination. In all these reactions, the halide leaves with a pair of electrons.